Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about a psychrometric problem and in the first part of the video we're going to be talking about the problem itself. On the second part we will be showing a psychrometric chart, all right? So let's get into it. Uh, to begin with, psychrometrics are very important in HVAC, not only to obtain a certification in the EIT or also to obtain a certification PE, a license, also for contractors. So psychrometrics is very, very important for HVAC. That's why we're going to be making more videos about that. Okay, so in this problem, what we have is they are giving us the indoor conditions. So let's put in that that part. So, for example, what I'm going to draw is a room. We're going to draw a mechanical closet. Okay, so if we have a room, for example, that's the room. Okay, 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 that's the room. Perfect. So that's going to be the room. Let, let's put in here interior room. This is the room. Okay, condition room. And we're going to have a mechanical closet in here. Mechanical closet. Okay, there we go. Mechanical closet. There we go. Mech room. Mech room. Okay. So what do we have in the mech room? In the mech room, we're going to have actually the equipment. So let's put the equipment in red. Usually an air handler unit or a furnace. Let's put that in here. Okay, that's the equipment. So in the drawings, what they put or what, what they designate is AHU, air handling, air handling unit. It could be a furnace, but it's just the tag. It just, it's just to represent the unit. Okay, so in the unit, what we have is going to have the duct work. So in the duct work, we're going to have this, see, for example, this. This is kind of the most basic arrangement. So there we go, the most basic. And then this is the return air. This is going to be the return air. And then in here, we're going to have the supply air. There we go. Supply, an elbow. And then this is the supply air. Here we go. Supply air. So this is coming out. Supply air. Okay. So what uh, what's going on in this problem is that in the indoor conditions are 24.8 and also 19.8. Uh, 17.9 so all these are in the units of the metric system this is not an ip inch pound problem it's a metric system problem okay so what we're gonna put in here since we already know that this is celsius celsius we're just gonna put dry bulb wet bulb so what is going what is entering the unit the unit is going to be in here my two conditions we're gonna get in here 24.8 dry bulb and the wet bulb is going to be 17.9. Okay, 17.9 wet bulb. And now the problem is telling me after the sensible heat ratio, let's put in here sensible heat ratio is equal to 0 0.88. So the living wet bulb temperature, okay, what's the living uh, wet bulb air temperature? If the entering wet bulb temperature is 13 Celsius degrees. So in other words, we're going to have in here 13 Celsius degrees dry bulb. But what is the wet bulb? So we're going to put that is as a question mark. Okay. All right. So basically the problem is we don't have to get confused uh, with the terminology when they are talking. Let's put this in pink very quickly. So see when they are saying indoor conditions, Okay, what is entering to the equipment? Of course, what is in the indoor conditions? What is in the room? So we're going to have a return air grill. So the air is coming here. There we go. And then when the air comes in to the air handling unit, the air handling unit is going to cool down that air. So when it cools down, that air is going to come out at a certain temperature, okay? And when it comes to a certain temperature, that's going to be conditioned, uh, entering to the condition space. That's what they mean when they say air entering the condition space, okay? So when they're saying that air entering the condition space, of course, this is a type of space, no escape space, okay? So what is the wet bulb? So for that, it's very important to go to the side chart, psychrometric chart. 
okay? So let's get into, into that part. So as we can see in here, point one is going to be 24.8 drive bulb. So we're going on the vertical line, okay? And this, uh, so that's point one, but we always need two inputs. Okay, so that's gonna be drive bulb and wet bulb. So the wet bulb is going to be, it is 17.9. So let's try, uh, let's draw that. And there we go. The second point is go, it is 13 Celsius drive bulb. So for the 13 Celsius drive bulb, we can always uh, draw that on the vertical line, but we need to find the wet bulb. So we don't have that data. So what we're gonna do is go to the protractor and in the protractor, we have the information for the sensible heat ratio, which is 0.88, okay? So what we do is we intersect the middle point to the 0.88, as we can see, and that gives us the slope. After we have the slope, we're gonna have the complete process, so that way we can find the wet bulb for the for point number two now since we have point number two number one and also we have the potential point number two what we're gonna do is we're going to connect both so we have point number one and then we have point number two and let's move the slope that we obtain from the protractor and then from the protractor we're going to connect from where it started the process the process started in point number one so we put the slope in there from point number one to point number two and as you can see in point number two that intersects actually with the vertical line which is my drive bulb and the slope, which is, the slope is actually, you know, the sensible heat ratio, which is 0.88, right? So since we have the sensible heat ratio intersection and the 0.2, then we can obtain the wave with the wet bulb, which is as shown in the video, all right? So as we have seen in the videos, I mean, in the in the psychrometric chart, it, it is very important to know what is every line. Usually they could give you a very, very kind of diffi uh, difficult problem, but as long as you know how to intersect the lines, you're gonna be able to find the air properties, the points, okay? So don't forget this rule, very important rule is that you only need two properties in order to know all of it for example if you have the dry bulb and wet bulb you can find the humid relative humidity humidity ratio a specific volume a specific enthalpy everything all right so and also if you have that's the analytical part you can always draw lines in the psychrometric chart you know as you can see we have the psychrometric chart right here right we saw that you just draw lines right here, right here, and you had an intersection, you had this, you had this, and you have the, uh, the process, right? But you can always find this in, um, you can always resort to the digital options. There are always applications, you can download it in iOS, in Apple or Android, that could make it uh, more effective also. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did hit the like button, that helps a lot and leave any comment. And also, of course, if, you're, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, all right? I'll see you in the next video, thank you.